Welcome to Craft and Knickknacks. So today I want to show you how to make this DIY um, ephemera holder st or storage. So I have this here, which is I just rearranged all my ephemera. They used to they used to be in plastic baggies like this here. Um, lots of Ziploc zip ba bags and OPP bags that I've reused from when I buy stickers and stuff. So I, the problem with that system is that it's so hard to find um, the ephemeris that you want to use. So the tendency is you don't use them when you're journaling. So I have ephemeris here that have been with me for two years, three years, and I haven't touched them since because it's so hard to look for what you want. Right, so I figured I want something like an album. I've been thinking about making something like this for a while now. Like, how can I store them where I can visibly see them? Just flip through the pages. The first thing that came to my mind were albums, but those are sticky, and I'm afraid that I might tear some of them because some of these I just print on normal copy paper. Some of them are really thin, like cutouts from paper bags and stuff in magazines. So there. So this is what I have. I transferred the ephemeris that I have and I just made this and I was looking for tutorials for coupons because I remember um, in the US coupons are a big thing and people usually use clear box and I see that they use baseball inserts but we don't baseball card um, inserts but we don't have those here. Or we have those here, but it's so expensive and it's not used for baseball cards, mostly for collectible cards like magic cards or stuff. And those tend to be super expensive and I don't want to shell out something so so much for something that is just paper, right? So I figured I probably could do something and since I know that clear, book are, clear books are plastic, I figured hey I could melt plastic or I could sew plastic the thing is I'm not really good at sewing so melting is the way to go so here I just melted um, to make the pockets and so far I've discovered a few things and I'll show them to you so the first part here when I melted I did straight lines the, the risk there is if you do if you do it over and over if you do it really hard like you light it really hard it will tear off because it's like sealing the plastic so I figured eventually I'll do it like this I don't know if you could see it properly like it's um like a running stitch and I find that it's more um, it holds stronger and it, there's no fear of detaching the entire thing so it's more it's more sturdy so the next pages are already like that. And then, what I really like about this is that you can customize the way you divide the pages. Like for example here, I know I have a lot of small ones. So I divided them into small pockets. The only thing that I think is um, hard to, to for this is that if you pick it up and this is the right side up this is right side up right if you pick it up the wrong side everything or most of them will, will fall out I mean same problem with the baseball um, baseball card ones so that's that I'm thinking of putting washi over the edges but I'm too lazy so I'll just stick with this and probably put an arrow here to indicate which side up it is. I'll probably stick some washi there. Okay, so that's that. So this is a clear book that I bought from National Bookstore. I like, I don't know, three years, four years ago. It's 140 bucks. It's a small size. There. So, to make this, what you'll need, well, first is you'll need a clear book. I like this one specifically because the pages are thick. And um, so they're sturdy, so it won't bend out of shape or won't get, I don't know what the proper word is. That's that. So what you'll need, what you'll need are, I don't 
Paper, a thick paper to serve as thick paper to serve as something that you could put under the sheet to, while you're melting the plastic. So just a scrap piece of paper. This is 200 GSM paper, which I find that really work. And then soldering iron or a fuse tool. I don't have a fuse tool, but I have a soldering iron, so I use this. And this is the reason why I'm not buying a fuse tool. Aluminum or metal ruler, because you'll use it to line um, to line up the melting. And not scissors actually, but a craft knife for slicing open the plastic because no, once you no. seal the plastic here no, this will be closed no. off so you'll have to no, cut it no. or slice it open no, no. let's get started open your clear book to the page you want to work on and then grab your fuse tool or your soldering iron so plug in your soldering iron and wait for it to heat up Make sure to set your soldering iron aside while waiting so you don't melt the other pages. Next, grab your sheet of paper and put it under the page that you want to work on. Once your soldering iron is hot enough, get your aluminum or metal ruler and put it on your sheet. This is to help you make straight lines on your plastic when you're melting it using the soldering iron. So run the soldering iron through the plastic like so. Remember to make um, da dashed or dotted lines. I'm, use I'm making it straight right now because this is the one of the first sheets that I made. But as I mentioned a while ago, it's better to make like a running stitch using your soldering iron instead of doing it straight right, like what I'm doing right now. Continue lining and sealing your sheets. What I love about this technique is that you can change the layout or make different layouts depending on the size of your ephemeris. Once you've finished sealing your pages, grab your craft knife and start opening the sealed parts of your pages. This is so you could insert your ephemeris inside. Remember that once you've melted the pages, these are already sealed shut. So you have, and unlike the ones on top, where you can put in stuff. So you have to cut them open. You have to put in the right amount of pressure so you don't cut all the way through the other page. That's why I like this clear book because the plastic is a bit thick and they have a little bit of leeway when cutting. So just make sure you will probably do a lot of trial and error or probably not. It, I have, I'm heavy handed and I didn't cut through the pages. So just make sure you don't put too much pressure on it. So for this sheet, I figured I want to seal the top or the edges. That way I will have similar to what's at the bottom where all the tops are sealed. So I'm using my soldering iron. This is just the residual heat of the soldering iron because I've already un unplugged it but it's still hot. So it's still able to melt the plastic. So I'm sealing off the top so that um, no ephemeris will fall off. The idea behind this is that if there's a little, if I don't put the ephemeris on top and make my opening somewhere in the middle, my ephemeris won't fall off too much. This is because the ephemeris that I put in here are small, but um, they are thick, they are punched from cardstock, and they are a lot. So like I have a lot of small circles and stuff. So these would tend to fall off if I don't secure them properly. So I'm gonna score my pages somewhere around a centimeter from the top so continue scoring everything opening up the sealed edges 
and then after you're done put in your ephemeris and you're good to go thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video hit like hit subscribe to see more of our videos follow us on facebook craft and knickknacks and on instagram at craft and knickknacks